this is a called a ground fault uh, interrupter outlet, also known as a GFI, ground fault interrupter. And that's what it does when the, there, just how it sounds, when there's a ground fault, meaning that uh, wires have crossed, whether it's the ground in the hot or the neutral in the hot, um, it will pop like a breaker does or a fuse so that it immediately turns the power off and you know get shocked. There are a couple of different kinds. This one, here's a, they all have test lights on now. This one doesn't have a light on while it's working. Some have a little green light and some don't. This one does not. Uh, and to test it, they have a button that says test on it. Uh, and you just push the button to test it. And this one here, uh, this light turned yellow, it popped out of the other button. And so right now, uh, if you put a meter on it, there's no power to it. Check it out. And the, the little, also the, the little side is always the hot. Okay, so it's reading a half a volt, which is normal. There's always, there's usually like a half a volt between neutral and ground, so there's always something there. But, and uh, this one seems even a little high, but it's, it's still off. Okay, and then I'll f turn it back on, and you can see what happens. Reset it. Light goes off, and I'll plug this back in. Look at the meter. And uh, I hold my, there you go, 120, 124. I gotta hold my little, little thing straight with one hand because I'm holding the camera as well. So, that's it right there. So, usually when you're doing this, you have a free hand. You can also check between the hot and the ground, like I'm doing. I'll give you the same result pretty much. Because in the box, even though they're separate, in the box, the neutrals, when I say box, I mean in the breaker panel, the uh, the neutrals and the hot. <laughs> the neutrals and the grounds are wired together. The hots are the only ones that go separate to the breakers. So the neutrals and the grounds, even though they're separate wires, they do go to the same place. And the reason for the ground is because when something shorts out, um, the electrical current looks for the shortest distance uh, uh, the, you know the path of least resistance. So when there's an extra wire there for ground, it's, it goes down the ground instead of going into your body, which is much better. Anyways, that's uh, that's it. Hope it helps.